Greetings guys, this is Tokraft and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we are looking at one of my replays in the Centurion Action 10. The last time I have showed this vehicle on my channel was during my EWS project. And last week I had a little bit of time to play World of Tanks. I played a few games and I thought to myself, uh, now that I had played a few battles in the lower tiers, I wanted to play one tier 10 battle. And I decided to play that tier 10 battle in my Centurion Action 10. Well, so we ended up on this match here in Corellia, and as we can see, we have got a 33%er on our hands here. Most people would uh, lose the world to live at the moment. As we can see, IS-4 does it a little bit there. But I'm not going to let that affect me as much as it would uh, other people. So as we can see, I'm just going to try to put my tank into the best situation possible. As we know, the Centurion Action X has got alright turret armor. And very good gun depression, so we know that we need to put this tank into a held down location. If you want to know more about the Centurion Action X, you can check out the video I made during my EWS project. In that video, I explain a bit more uh, where the Centurion Action X come from, uh, came from, why it got replaced by the FE4202, that is now a tier 8 premium tank. But for now, we are going to focus fully on this gameplay. I was actually planning on doing a subscriber replays episode today, but then I realized, looking at uh, the work I still had to do, that I was never going to make it, um, <laughs> yeah, when I was going to make a subscriber replays episode. But I promise you guys, soon there will be a new subscriber replays episode back on the channel for you. And also, just keep sending in your replays. It will take a little bit longer for me now to uh, make a video of them, but I'll try my best, of course. So as we also know about the Centurion Action X, really accurate gun, very, very, very decent DPM. Yeah, it's, it's just a great all-round medium tank. The things you do want to hide are the whole armor though, and tier 10 you're pretty much not going to bounce a single shot. Well, you might of course, you can always get lucky, but you shouldn't count on this armor, that is what I meant to say. So now we're in the open, the 3090 puts a shot into our side. I immediately go towards this rock to get cover from... The 3090. But then I pull back. I get spotted again. And then I get shot again. And now we can see this conqueror. I cannot let him run away here. I had to take the risk. To try and take that guy down. Because if that conqueror. As we can see. He was a very good player indeed. Managed to run away. Then we would have, a, would have had a very big problem. And also there. The shot on the 3090. I have no idea how that only did critical damage. But um. As you guys will see at the end of the replay, that miss, oh yeah, that critical hit on the 1390 will actually cost me more <laughs> than, the, than just one shot of damage. But as we can see, the Amix 30 is the Unicum player on the enemy team. That's the guy, of course, we have to watch out for the most. And he has gone into the position, um, which is pretty much the strongest for him. Almost nobody uh, in any position can hit that guy from anywhere around the map. But from up the hill, but up the hill there at the back there, always tank destroyers. As we can see what tank destroyers are likely to be there. Waffentrager, Panzer 4, Jägeru, and an FE, yeah, 183. That, that's just going to be a death sentence. And as we can see, the 183 just got spotted. And this, this is a very important tank to take down. So I'm just going to double bush him right here. I am going to have to take this guy down at any costs here. That tank is so dangerous. You don't even know. As most of you know at tier 10. That FE183 is able to one shot. Uh, any tank that it can meet. Possibly. I have no idea why that guy didn't decide to run away. Or to move in any way shape or form. But it is nice we managed to take that guy down. There we, is the, we can see the Jägeru. He got spotted. Probably the Skoda T50. Who is doing all the spotting work here. Very well done to that guy. It looks like he's also keeping himself hidden very well. And we can just uh, yeah, put shot after shot into that Jägeru. Really important tank to take down as well. The unfortunate thing is this is pretty much the, uh, the perfect engagement for the Jägeru. It's a long range engagement for him. So it's very hard for me, even with this accurate gun, to hit his weak spots. So now as we can see, all the tank destroyers got unspotted on the hill. And the bad chat has joined the AMX-30 in the middle position. I'm just trying to aim up a shot here. May we might get a shot off here. I am not sure. But yeah, hey, you can always try, you know. 
And it is very important that we take these guys down. Why is that so important? As we can see, there's an IS-7 who managed to rush in aggressively uh, yeah, towards these heavy tanks. And the artilleries and the tank destroyers here can all get spotted by that AMX-30. And that's, of course, why he uh, decided to take that position. Because he can spot for his tank destroyers up onto the hill. So it is very important that we try and take any opportunity to take him down. But now as we can see the Badjet has made an aggressive play and that's perfect for me. But I cock it up a little bit. I thought he was going to drive up all the way. And that is not what he did. So I ma he managed to spot me without me being able to take a shot at him. And now I am spotted. So they again know where I am. Uh, luckily this Badjet doesn't seem to notice really. Unfortunately... The Skoda T50 gets taken out by the Waffen Trigger Panzer 4. So I have to take down this Badget right here. And now I've got him. There's no way he's running away anymore now. So that's one of the dangerous things on the enemy team dealt with. Immediately going behind the rock of course to try and hide myself from the artillery. Who is undoubtedly aiming at me at the moment. Okay so what's the situation right now? I'm pretty much the only tank that's on this flank left. And still a TVP T50-51 has not been spotted the entire game. So where will that guy be? He is going to be a very big pain in the ass if he manages to get the, the ambush up on me. Because as we know that tank has got a 4 shot autoloader with I think 320 alpha damage uh, shots. So if he manages to penetrate all his rounds into me he will easily be able to take me down with one clip. So I'm going to have to... Be very, very careful. So that's that's what that was what uh, was going through my mind at the moment. But also, I was trying to uh, deal with the tank destroyers at the same time. So I fired a blind shot at the where the rifle trigger passive for might be. And now the AMX 30B is making the biggest misplay and a thing I did totally not expect him to do. He, of course, he tried the same flanking maneuver as the uh, Batjet. But of course, I had him. If When he got into that position, he was mine, really. And after I put the first shot in, his only hope was to try and get cover from uh, that bad jet rack over there. But, yeah, aiming is hard, right? I put a shot right into his upper plate, which was uh, easy to be yeah, visible. And we managed to take down a dangerous player. Oh my god, there's the TVP just out of nowhere. Luckily, I do not tunnel vision. I try to angle up my tank as well as possible. And there is his clip. Gone. He did not manage to penetrate two of his shots. And that's um, why I am alive at this moment. Now this guy is reloading. I have no idea why that guy cocked up as many shots as he did. Because he was easily able to kill me there. But he didn't. And now this guy is just pretty much done for here. This guy's only got 200 hit points left. I decide to side scrape because he might be reloaded right now. He is reloaded. He manages to put a shot into me. So now it is neck and neck, guys. And the artillery luckily misses me. So now I decide, okay, this is too hot there, that position. I'm just going to wait here. And now what the hell is he doing? What the hell was he thinking, everyone? I don't even know what was happening during this game. But all the... The best players on the enemy team just seem to not have read the map or something like that. But oh uh, well. Now the Yigru makes an aggressive play as well. Which is perfect for me. I can put side shots into that guy. I do have to watch out for the Waffentrager Panzer 4 because he can easily take me down at this moment. Luckily he does not. So now we know that only lightly armored tanks are left. And you see me load my hash shells immediately. Which is going to be the best choice to engage the last tanks on the enemy team. Because if we penetrate uh, the artillery with these hash shells, it will be a, yeah, almost a 100% guarantee of killing in one shot. There's the Waffentrager Panzer 4. Now as we can see, there's one minute left on the game, so there's almost no way that the enemy team is going to win this game anymore. That Waffentrager Panzer 4 and the artillery are going to have to take down all the rest of my team, which is probably not going to happen. And we have the perfect line of fire on to the Waffentrager Panzer 4. And now it is only a time. Yeah, it's only a case of trying to find the enemy artillery. Because as we can see, I've got 7 kills. We might be able to get a Ridley Walters medal in tier 10. Which is just an amazing achievement. But unfortunately, as we can see at the map, the Badjet has been spotted on the other side of the map. So there's almost no way that I'm going to be able to get there in time. Even with this quick tank. And as we can see, the enemy team... Of oh yeah, the T-125 manages to take down that enemy artillery. 
winning the game for us. And still, we end up with an amazing result. So let's check out the post-game stats, everyone. What a result, everyone. NA Stanker for 6.8k damage, we managed to penetrate a blind shot with a high caliber, a top gun and a tank sniper medal in tier 10. I think that 6.8k damage is only 600 away from my personal damage record in World of Tanks. And the 7 kills of course is very very nice, but do you remember that 3090 that we shot in the beginning of the game? Yep, if we would have killed him that would have been a Redley Walters medal as well. But of course World of Tanks said, screw you buddy. Still, I'm very happy with this result, everyone. So that's pretty much the video from this week. I hope you enjoyed it. And as it is the beginning of the December month, I wish everyone the very, very best. Please leave a like as I did put a lot of time into making this video, as usual. And subscribe if you haven't already. Guys, I will see all of you in the next video. Have a great weekend. Bye.